it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. Chris Rock is one of the sweetest, loveliest people I know. He is infinitely kind and uh, supportive. He truly is a genius on his feet. Jim Carrey furiously reacted to Will Smith's slap on Chris Rock during the Oscars just a few days ago. Jim Carrey, who carries a highly famous name, has given a pretty strong reaction to what happened at the Oscars. It remains clear that the internet divided into Team Will Smith and Team Chris Rock after the incident. It is also clear that the Oscars received a lot of spotlight across the globe following the event. But how has the celebrity's stance been? In short, it has tilted against Will Smith. So what does Jim Carrey have to say about this? Let's find out in this video. I'm just here to say that striking another human being is wrong. Jim Carrey is blasting Hollywood for giving Will Smith a standing ovation when it was revealed at the Oscars that he won the Best Actor for King Richard. Smith's Oscar triumph happened several minutes after he slapped Chris Rock while the comic was presenting the documentary feature category. Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's bald head, which she shaved last year after disclosing she has alopecia. I don't give two craps what people feel about this bald head of mine. I was sickened, Carrie said as he spoke to CBS's Gail King. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. It really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. Gary further said that Smith should have been escorted out of the Oscar ceremony after he slapped Rock. King noted that Chris Rock declined to file a police report about the incident, but Carey claimed that was only because the comedian didn't want the hassle. Jim Carey goes on to share mixed emotions and worry over Paul Dano's Riddler. Here's what he said. I'd have announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous, Carey said. That insult is going to last a very long time. Suppose you want to yell from the audience and show disapproval or say something on Twitter, that's fine. But you do not have the right to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. It remained clear that Carrie had no intention of sugarcoating his words and that he did not appreciate Will Smith's action that night. According to him, they were unjustified and insulting. However, it was only a few days later that Carrie had to clarify some of his comments. Kerry then proceeded to conclude his initial opinion, saying, It came out of nowhere because Will has something going on inside him that's yes. frustrated, and I, I, I wish him the best. I really do. I don't, I don't, you know, mm -hmm. I don't have anything against Will Smith. He's done great things. But that was have not a good moment. It cast a, a pall over everybody's shining moment. It was just a selfish moment that cast a pall over the whole thing. Also, keep in mind that Will Smith had issued an apology to Chris Rock on the night after the Oscars, writing, Jokes at my expense are part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear, and I reacted emotionally. I would like to apologize to you, Chris, publicly. I was out of line, and I was wrong. I am embarrassed, and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. It was only a few days later that Jim Carrey decided to reword some of his initial statements in front of the public. This time, he decided to go a little easy on Will Smith, but still showed no sign of attacking him. Jim Carrey was retracing his prior statements about the Will Smith and Chris Rock brawl at the Oscars 2020. In his last interview, the actor had been fairly harsh in his reaction to the slap and termed it a sickening event. But now, in a new talk with Associated Press through ET Canada, Carrey has changed his stance on the topic. While promoting his new film, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Carrey acknowledged that the issue was certainly a bigger one and continued, It's an issue of the boundaries being broken, boundaries and allowances and permissiveness, to certain behaviors. He expanded and argued in Rock's favor as he talked about the cause for such an occurrence which is, according to him, a question of license that leads a person to act out violently, if what they hear is not in line with their taste. However, even while denouncing Will's conduct, Carrie was not indifferent or empathetic towards the actor. People not unlike Will or uh, myself, we live in a lot of pressure. He then went on and questioned the pressure-stricken lives of all industry bigs. We set up a lot of pressure for ourselves, and we're encouraged by this country to never stop and never be satisfied and never look at our lives and going, you know what, I'm enough. 
I have enough. I've done enough. I don't need nine businesses. I don't need to be a movie producer, director, writer, actor, star, and have a record company, be on TikTok, and be on social media, and have a reality show, and share my innermost life on some therapy show. Meanwhile, Carrie also noted how Will, in that scenario, was not just thinking about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, but was also worried about how he looked at that point, and his actions were a result of this crack in his muddled judgment. Carrie finished as he remarked, I don't condemn him for it. It's just wrong. Jim Carrey is not the only celebrity that has reacted to this development over the last week. Dozens of high-profile names that were attending the Oscars that night, and the ones outside have also shared their opinion regarding the event. Surprisingly enough, there were plenty of names that also decided to openly side with Will Smith. Now, although Will Smith apologized to the host as well as the Academy, the event was way too big and significant to be ignored. Since it happened right on the stage of the Oscars, all the Hollywood celebrities were also sure to leave their opinions on the matter. It is safe to say that while some appeared extra friendly with Will post-incident, others condemned him in watered-down words for hitting a co-worker. Stars who were both in attendance and watching at home had a lot to say about the drama. From Rock's joke to Smith's slap. I just sat down because I was like, I gotta put that drink down. The tennis star, whose father, Richard Williams, was depicted by Smith in King Richard said via a since-deleted Instagram story. Thank you so much. I think that Will was immature, I think he was childish, and I think he was violent. Sunny Hostin said on the show. Whoopi Goldberg, an Academy governor, weighed in on the idea of the Academy taking away his Oscar. Well, there will be consequences, I'm sure, but I don't think yeah. that that's what they'll well, be. Apparently... Particularly because Chris said, listen, I'm not, I'm yeah. not pressing any right. charges. That's also right. To most people's astonishment, Chris Rock also confirmed that he wouldn't be seeking charges against Smith for the slap. In a statement, the Los Angeles Police Department revealed that their investigative entities are aware of an incident between two individuals during the Academy Awards program. The incident involved one individual slapping another. The individual involved has declined to file a police report. If the involved party desires a police report at a later date, LAPD will be available to complete an investigative report. Anna Navarro also didn't back down when it came to this event. Hitting someone is a crime, a crime of assault. While she called Rock's quip a lame joke, a joke in very poor taste, she believes the slap and the remark were not equivalent. Joy Behar discussed the impact on comedians. They want us comedians to be edgy, to go out there and say what everyone's thinking, and then they get mad. Will Smith's son, Jaden Smith, has also spoken out after the actor rushed the Oscars stage and struck Chris Rock in the face. The enraged Fresh Prince of Bel-Air star raised a hand at the XSNL comic after he made a poorly received joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's hair loss. Will Smith, 53, took offense at the joke about his wife shaving her head and stormed the stage before hitting the presenter. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Chris tried to jest, mentioning how Demi Moore chopped her head for the part in 1997. Jada, 50, on the contrary, has been battling with hair loss for years and last year chose to take it all off. While broadcasters in the U.S. were able to cut off the visual and audio transmission for a few seconds, abroad, cameras caught the occurrence. When the video restarted, Will seemed enraged as he shouted at the comedian, Keep my wife's name out your mouth! Now, Jaden has resorted to Twitter to defend Dad Will's actions after fans of the awards show swarmed social media to denounce him. He simply said in reply to the evening, and that's how we do it. Jaden also shared a selfie writing, my dad's speech made me cry, before swiftly removing it from his Instagram. Chris's poorly received remark was considered to be an ad lib off of the screenplay he had provided to the Oscars filmmakers. Interestingly enough, Someone who works for the Oscars told me that Chris Rock was not interrupted by Will Smith at rehearsals yesterday. It was not supposed to happen, a source revealed. It was real. What are your own thoughts regarding the events that happened during the Oscars? Do share in the comments below.